Hi everyone. I haven't posted in a while, but that's uh, because I've been really busy, and I really have been busy. I have evidence of it. Uh, first of all, I've got these paintings, which I can, um, which I'll show you in a uh, in little time lapse videos on the blog. Um, they're not of anything in particular. They're just of pictures I've found or people, and. Um, each of them I've done in about an hour or so. Um, I used to be quite confident with painting, now maybe not so much because I've been in front of a computer for the last three years and uh, uh, might feel I might have lost some of the skills. I'm trying to do as many paintings as possible before I get to the school, so I just feel confident that I can get up and, and um, demonstrate something. Also, I'm recording each of the paintings as I'm doing them for the blog and the purposes of making it into a video but also uh, in order to have a record for me so that I can um, sort of analyze my own process of painting and uh, hopefully sort of translate that to students. I'm hopefully going to find some some models soon, maybe take some photos of friends and stuff and just do quick portraits of them as well. Um, if anyone's interested. So there's only two months left before I leave. We're leaving on the 23rd of September because I've got my tickets now um, and there's quite a lot of organising to do so um, I'm getting right into it. I've been getting all my inoculations. The ones I had on the blog were not my only inoculations unfortunately. Um, I've got a list of all the inoculations I have had now and and receipts for for all of them. That's my evidence that I have actually done it. I've got my police report here which I've sent in as part of my residence permit application. And now it's more about preparing myself for the teaching process and and for the maybe the culture shock of, of getting to Africa. Um, so I've been meeting up with as many people as possible about um, about how I go about teaching because I've never done teaching before. Um, I'm taking a flax weaving course and um, that's going really well. We've only had one one we've only had one lesson. Oh here is my and here's my first attempt at flax weaving. Um, pretty happy with that. And that's supposed to be um, extremely uh, significant apparently. So that's giving me some experience in a sort of a classroom situation which I haven't been in for, for a few years and giving me an idea of at least one person's approach to teaching a small group. I've also met with a couple of the tutors at um, the Learning Connection and asked them about how they go about um, formulating their class plans and um, how they start a class, how they deal with problems, how they um, how they choose what they're going to teach at any one stage, how you uh, can teach art without influencing um, people's natural abilities, without influencing um, uh, their own sort of artistic self-expression. I also had a, an interesting chat with Professor Elizabeth Rankin at the University of Auckland. She was a really interesting lady, unfortunately she didn't want to be on film. Um, which is fair enough, it's pretty daunting being in front of the camera. She had lots of really interesting things to say. I uh, wish I had been able to film it, but um, she talked a lot about her time in South Africa. She's an art, she's an art historian and she uh, spent uh, over 30 years in South Africa. She curated lots of shows um, and she talks about art's place in Africa's economy and um, about political art, about how um, a lot of the shows that she curated um, were actually quite political um, in their nature, but uh, everything was quite subtle. It was uh, art was a way that you could subtly get across um, affirmations of your own culture and rejections of things. For instance, in South Africa, like apartheid, um, without having to be too overt about it, and maybe when you couldn't publish essays or uh, writings articles about about such things. She also talked about how art's a viable uh, part of the African economy and um, how when people don't have uh, maybe farmland, um, making artworks and making crafts, um, making uh, clothes and bags, those sorts of things can actually be a really, really good money earner for some people. Um, so she said, I've got to keep in mind that there might be a very practical aspect to 
to the art that I might be teaching. Um, and she also talked about just the the importance of art as a leisure activity in Africa. When people are in adverse situations, they're not necessarily working all, you know, 24 hours a day. Some people don't have the options available to them, and art is um, something that can help occupy time. It's something that can become um, that can be marketed, uh, and it's uh, and it's something that enriches people's lives anyway. Uh, it's, uh, it's a political tool, a communication tool as well. As I always say, I promise to get these out more regularly and um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do a blog on next, maybe on Swahili or um, perhaps I'll try and get in contact with some Tanzanians here in Auckland. I suppose we'll exit with some of the time lapses of the, of the paintings. I should have a lot more of these done by next week. So I'm not sure what the blog's going to be on, but there should be some paintings in there, definitely. Cheers.